It's in quarter. Good stuff. Well, even though Chrysler is now owned by an Italian car company, President Obama continues to refer to it as a successful bailout of an American car company. But now Chrysler's parent, Fiat, is in real trouble. Moody's just lowered its credit rating to junk status. So are taxpayers about to get hit up for yet another bailout of an Italian car company? Let's ask Mark Modica. He's been following the bailouts since they began at the National Legal, Legal and Policy Center. Good to see you again, Mark. Thanks for coming in. So, Hi, David. Uh, this, Thank you. this downgrading, by the way, affects about $15 billion worth of debt that Fiat has out there. Outstanding. Uh, what's wrong with Fiat? Well, Europe's still a mess. Um, of course, as you said, Fiat's the parent company of Chrysler, so it's a little worrying for, for Chrysler here. But uh, what, what happened was the, the auto industry is not as healthy as it's, it's made out to be. It's uh, very political when you hear about how healthy the auto industry is. But Europe is just still a mess. It's slow, and, and uh, manufacturers over there are just having trouble making money because it's very competitive, and labor costs are very high. Now, here's, here's the thing that worries me, this scenario. First of all, Fiat was given 40% of Chrysler in the beginning of the bailouts by the administration. I mean, just, just given 40%, I think it was an exchange for technical knowledge or, or know-how that, that Fiat had. Right. Uh, and then they eventually bought in and, and took a controlling interest of it. Uh, is it conceivable, is there any way that because of the fact that Chrysler is still endowed with a lot of tax for U.S. taxpayer dollars, that Fiat could dig into that pile of cash that Chrysler has in order to pay off its debts because of what's happening in Europe? Well, yeah, they own Chrysler, so anything that affects Fiat affects Chrysler. But I think this all comes back to uh, how this was structured in the beginning bankruptcy uh, uh, experts were consulted instead of auto industry experts as the main uh, goal was to protect the UAW and politically favored groups. This wasn't done based on the, what was best economically for the auto industry. It was done to protect cronies and uh, taxpayer money was, was dished out. And, and now we're in a situation where it turns out uh, things aren't as, as great as they would have appeared to be. You can look at Peugeot, too. They were also right. downgraded by Moody's. And General Motors uh, invested, I think it was $400 million in Peugeot. There's no reason for that. So, uh, yeah, taxpayer money can definitely go into these European companies. I don't know why, but um, uh, there's a lot of questions as to well, there why are certain, things were done the way they were. There are certain firewalls that, that supposedly were put in to make sure that that cash that can be identified as U.S. cash uh, remains untouchable in order to pay off European debts. However, as we know, money is fungible and people can fungible. move it away in all kind, move it around in all kinds of ways. Yeah. Now, as for a bailout, uh, I don't think it's conceivable that there could be another U.S. bailout of an Italian car company. The European Union has sanctions against that kind of a bailout. But as we've seen in the past couple of months with the European Monetary uh, Central Bank, they've changed the rules as they're going along. So could there be a European bailout of fiat? You know, after what I saw here in America, the way contract law was just trampled with the GM bankruptcy and Chrysler bankruptcies, anything is possible. I think it's going to depend a lot on what administration is in power as to how much America gets involved. But Europe doesn't have the, uh, the, the bankruptcy laws that we have here where you can kind of just manipulate a process and come out of it and uh, pick winners and losers as to how creditors get paid mm -hmm. off and then come back as a, as a healthy company with lo loads of taxpayer money as GM. Did. And finally, so, uh, you know, anything is possible. Mark, it, is it conceivable that you can make a case that the bailout was successful when it turns out that we, the U.S. government, gave 40 percent of an American car company to an Italian car company mm -hmm. that is now rated as junk? Said, so. I, I, I see no way it's conceivable, but the politicians who are campaigning on the issue are obviously saying it's successful. I don't believe that. It's designed to fool uh, people who haven't paid close attention okay. and don't realize how many billions of taxpayer dollars have been wasted and, and how little this really has done for America. Uh, you know, the auto industry would have survived without such drastic measures. Um, this could have been done in a different way without billions of taxpayers' dollars being thrown at this. And if auto industry experts had been consulted instead of uh, bankruptcy experts and hedge fund guys like Steve Ratner, who've headed up the task force, he was followed by Ron Bloom, who was a union guy. So you can kind of see where, where this was directed. Okay. Uh, we'd be in a lot better shape if they had done this 
based on what was best economically for the industry, gotcha. not based on protecting uh, UAW interests. Mark, we got to go, but uh, we're going to be following the story closely. The, the right. future of fiat, please come back and see us again. Mark Modica, Associate Fellow with the National and Policy Center. Back to you.